Hello, this is a video of the desktop interface using a keyboard and mouse on the Windows 8 Consumer Preview build. And I just wanted to do this to show that using a mouse and a keyboard does work in the Metro interface. And it's not that bad, actually. Um, when using, well, as you can see, there's still the traditional desktop where you have Windows and everything, Internet Explorer, um, and all that is still basically the same. But as you can see, there's no Start button. Um, but clicking or using the Windows key, you can or go in the bottom left corner. You can get to the Start the new Start menu where you can launch Metro apps. And using Metro apps like Mail has a full screen, edge screen, edge to edge viewing. So there's no way you can resize it and there's no way you can see the taskbar or you can't see the taskbar. There's no way to bring it up. There's none of that. So mul multitasking is kind of hard, but it's much easier once you actually get to know how to use all the all the features of the Metro interface, like this top left corner, as you can see, if you click that, you go straight to the, the last app that you use. In this case, it was desktop. Now, I did a couple clicks. So I went all the way back to the reader, the built-in reader that reads PDFs in the new consumer preview. And well, as you can see, if you go to the top left corner and slide down, you can see all the apps that I have opened, including the mail app, the video app, the my calendar, the music app, the weather and the people app. It's all right there. If you slide, if you go to the top left corner, slide down, you'll see it all right there in the, the last state that you left it at. And I think this works well, much, I think it works much better than the taskbar, because in the taskbar, you'd have to hover over it in order to see the arrow preview. In this case, it's basically the same thing, but it show it's, you don't have to hover over anything and you just know which the apps, what the apps are, depending on the preview that is showing. Now, another thing that you can do for multitasking is snapping to the left or the right of what you currently have open, and you can swipe things in. It's not really swiping on the mouse, but you're like dragging it. You're dragging it into the screen. And then to close apps, you just go to the top and you slide all the way down. Slide all the way down to the to the bottom of the screen. And there's another way you can also close apps where you just you have them showing on the left side with the previews, and then you can just right click on them and close. Now you can also snap left or right. So instead of dragging it in, you can just easily slap, snap left or snap right, and it'll do that for you. And then you can close. You can even snap the music in, and it'll show you a playlist right there. So it's much easier to use than having to resize the windows by yourself, and it just does it automatically in the Metro interface, which I find to be very useful. So that's just a couple of things that I found that keep that keep the Windows 8 new Metro interface productive. And I've actually I installed it I think two days ago. No, a day last yesterday. And I've all I've already figured out how to use everything and I use two monitors even though you can only see one. But using two monitors is even better because I can just keep all the my Metro apps on the left monitor and then I can keep everything else on the right monitor if I want. And
and yeah this is the windows 8 desktop interface using a keyboard and mouse